Hello everyone. My grid tie inverter project is currently in its final design stages. The inverter is expected to have a maximum power output of around 3 kilowatts when operating at 48 volts. I have completed testing individual modules of the project, such as the DC boost stage, MPPT stage, and H-bridge stage. The current task is to integrate these modules and finalize the control software. This is the amorphous transformer core that I intend to use in my project. Although small, it can easily handle a power level of 3 kilowatts with a conversion efficiency of 96%. This is the H-bridge control module synchronized with the grid. It will generate a voltage with the same frequency as the grid, but at a higher voltage. This causes energy to flow back into the grid. This inverter is a power-limited grid tie inverter. Therefore, ensuring that excess energy is not fed back into the grid is the top priority. We need a circuit that can accurately measure the amount of energy flowing in and out of our home. And that is exactly what this video is about. Thank you to JLCPCB for generously sponsoring this video. My projects might not have been possible without their support. JLCPCB is one of the world's leading PCB manufacturers. In addition to PCB production, they also offer a variety of other services such as 3D printing, PCBA, PCB design services, and more. The pricing is also very affordable. I spent less than $4 for these PCBs, including shipping costs. The price is truly excellent. You can also visit their website to explore more of their services. Additionally, if you sign up today, you have a chance to receive many discount vouchers, up to $60 for their services. Many people might not know that EasyEDA is also a PCB design software developed by JLCPCB. It is powerful, easy to learn, and user-friendly. You can work directly on your browser, and as long as you have an internet connection, you can design PCBs from anywhere. Moreover, it is directly integrated with JLCPCB's PCB and PCBA services. Many of my projects have been designed using this software, and the best part, it's completely free. Truly amazing. As always, the PCB arrived in just about a week, even though I chose the cheapest shipping option. It was even faster than domestic shipping services in my country, and the PCB is as beautiful as ever. In this project, I'm using a custom ordered specialized IC with a software library that I developed myself. It can measure voltage and current separately, communicate via UART with the microcontroller, and most importantly, it can simultaneously measure many different parameters needed for the grid tie inverter. This is just a prototype version, so if you want to experiment with me, I can share the IC and the code with you. To ensure safety, in this project, I'm using the PTZMP101B and CTZMCT103C. They provide isolation between the grid and the control module, minimizing the risk of electric shock, as well as surge damage from lightning. It also doesn't require many external components. With just a few capacitors and resistors, it can function effectively. Here I will use the ESP32 to control and display voltage and current values on an LCD screen. The IC7805 is used to power the ESP32 and the LCD screen.
Working with to a 20 volt voltage always carries many risks. I will place the components that are directly connected to the grid into this cardboard box to ensure safety. You can also see that I have three current sensors here. One clamp type current sensor is for the watt meter and the other two current sensors are connected to the control module. I intentionally oriented these two current sensors in opposite directions. One sensor will measure the forward current and the other will measure the reverse current. You can see that the current and voltage values are quite similar across the measuring devices. The error between the meters is negligible. The sampling rate is also quite fast, about 200 milliseconds per sample. The display will show one positive and one negative power value. This is because we have oriented the two current sensors in opposite directions. This module can simultaneously measure power in both directions. We can also monitor the values through the ESP32's web server. They work quite well. <laughs> 